I want you to cut out meat, cut out meat, cut out meat, cut out meat. I'm not talking about sucking dick, by the way. I'm not telling you that type of meat. You're, I know you're, I know you're fucking clever watching me. You're like, but I like sucking that dick. You know damn well what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? Are you a fucking vegan vegetarian? I'm none of those things. Actually, I wish I was a vegan, but I ain't. I don't got that much money to be a fucking vegan. I'm going to wait for the day that I can actually do a vegan diet because that shit is fucking hard, baby. baby. Uh. It's even harder because even where I live in the hood, they, they don't they, pfft. Vegan options are not a thing. When I go get chicken over rice, lamb over rice, they're like, yes, my friend, would you like some... Uh, some vegan chicken, some lamb chick, you know, some, some, some vegan lamb, you know, I wish that was more options like that, because I have tried restaurants, there's a restaurant actually in NYC you should try called Red Bamboo, Woo it's like vegetarian, vegan, whatever, I ate fucking chicken, chicken uh, with cashew and vegetables, oh my god, I was like, this chicken tastes delicious, and it doesn't make me sleepy and feel like killing someone, because that's what that's what the fucking meat does to me. It makes me go, gives me no energy. Makes me feel like shit. Here's my example of uh, not eating meat. And you know what's funny is, no one's even telling you you don't have to go. You, I'm not telling you cut, uh, to just completely cut it all out. But I am telling you that you shouldn't eat meat every day at the very least cut it out some days that's what i've been doing recently i cut it out like i'll eat meat sometimes and then i won't eat meat and i feel better when i don't because guess what when i started cutting out meat and i actually did it for uh like hmm, i did it for like a month straight just to see how i feel just being vegetarian being being vegan was a, a lot harder i'm gonna be honest i'm just went with vegetarian first guess what a lot more energy, a lot more fucking energy, my dick got harder, ooh, yeah, because when I jerk off, my dick is usually like 50%, when I cut out the, the meat, it was like 70%, because still, porn is not that great, it does not that stimulate, let's be honest, I haven't got 100% hard on while, while jerking off in a long time, but, um, I shit twice a day! And for you, I don't know, maybe you should twice a day diarrhea, that is, because all the horrible food you're eating. Guess what? Doing diarrhea all the time, not good for you, buddy. Uh, sorry. I don't know. But um, that's from all the delicious uh, red bamboo I ate yesterday, uh, the burping. But yeah, that's another thing I noticed. I'm like, holy shit, I'm taking shits? I, I dude, there's been days where I'm, I, dude, I think it's scary when you go a whole day. And you don't shit? That's scary to me. I don't know about you. Like, that's normal, dude. Of course it's normal because you eat garbage all the time. So, yeah, you get constipated. But for me, that's not normal at all. That's fucking nuts to me. That shit is scary. I don't give a fuck what you got to say about that shit. Scares the shit out of me, man. But, yeah, when I started, when I, when I, when I went vegetarian, I mean, yeah, vegetarian, shit twice a day, I just felt better overall. But, yeah, at the very least, you should try, like, a day where you... Uh, just don't eat meat because eating meat every day, you're fucking literally made of chicken. That's how I am. I would eat chicken every day, every fucking day. I would literally be made out of chicken. I'm a chicken. I eat. There's nothing good about eating that much in general, that much meat every single day. Eating something, the same thing is really bad for you. Even if it's good for you after a while. Well, I don't know about that. I don't know. If maybe... Like, if I ate a nice apple every day, I don't think that would damage me at all. Probably not. But still, after a while, if you consume something, and it's a lot of it. It's not like I'm eating... I think if I eat 12 apples a day, something something weird's going to happen to me. That's what I think. Who knows? But a certain amount. But if you eat chicken and we eat... A, it don't act like we don't. When we eat, we eat a lot of meat. Dude, when I get the chicken over rice, it's a lot of meat in there, baby. Baby. I don't know every single time I say meat, you're thinking of a cock. Me, me too. So, anyways, um, but, yeah, just consider it. Consider it. It's really good for you. Don't listen to Joe Rogan. He hates anything that has to do that doesn't involve meat. Uh, that alone is weird, even though he's been proven that you could be 100% healthy on a vegan diet. And the funny part is a guy like that, you would think... That Joe would be like, let me just uh, do a vegan diet for 30 days and see how I feel. Nope. This guy is terrified. 
that if he does that, he might feel better. He's te- that motherfucker is terrified of that. It's like he knows in his heart. He knows in his heart that it might. It's like I might just feel a lot better. But you know what's funny? As if he's too full. He's too cocky to do that. But even if he did it, he would try his best. He would red pill his brain. He would placebo his brain into thinking, "I feel worse. My energy's not as good." Like he'll actually, and you could actually do that. Your brain, you can think something, and it can be real. Right now, if I imagine hard enough that there's a gnome staring at me. By the way, gnomes are real. If there's a gnome staring at me right there on the roof, like looking at me, like, "Damn, this guy's really good looking." Oh, that hat. Ooh, you know, gnomes usually wear hats like that. Is that a big, a big, a big uh, gnome or something? I want to fuck him. You know, that, if that's what he was doing, I could imagine that. Because the brain is that fucking crazy that you can actually manipulate. You, you, could, you could just do that and you could just manifest things and shit like that. So, I really do hope he tries it. And I really do hope you try it as well. Just give it a shot. If you don't want to give it a shot, I'm going to give you a shot of penicillin. Because you have uh, diabetes now. That's what happens. So, just so you know, you, you literally have diabetes now because you just eat way too much meat. You didn't listen to me. But it is what it is. And the last thing I got to say that really pissed me off. And I, and you're like, why are you still talking about Joe Rogan? I have to say one thing that really bothered me about what he did. C.T. Fletcher. You know who C.T. Fletcher is. If you don't know, he's just another... D- dumb guy that takes a bunch of steroids and screams at people to work out there's nothing wrong with i i think he's positive in the sense like you work out work out but it's kind of hypocritical at the same time because motherfucker you're on steroids and you're pretending like you're not on steroids but anyways and you you have way too much muscle on your body and it's extremely unhealthy to have that much muscle on your body at that age a 50 year old man 60 year old man it's it's just dumb in so many ways unhealthy but this man has gotten Two heart bypass. I don't know exactly. He got heart transplant or something. Like he, he like he had a heart attack because he used to eat McDonald's every day, meat all the time. Again, just recently, I think he actually got a whole heart transplant. Woo! And guess what his doctor told him to do? CT. Yes. You gotta be a vegan. You gotta go vegan, man. That's the only way your heart's going to get better. He's like, really? Yeah. And guess what he did? He went vegan. He's feeling better. And guess what Joe Rogan told him? He actually started questioning it, saying that he shouldn't cut out meat. You know how fucking stupid that is. The man got a fucking heart transplant. Doctor tells him, you're going to be healthier. Not eating meat, just try veganism. This motherfucker actually tried to make convince ct fletcher that's a dame that's some you're you're fucking nuts you're nuts joe the, the, the those are the things that bother me about him specifically his meat stuff he's obsessed i always call him the smartest frat guy in the world because he's still a meathead he acts like a meathead no matter what how smart he is he's very smart he knows a lot but at the end of the day he's like a, a really smart fraternity guy that's the only thing i have against him i mean the guy goes hunting it's hunting is fucking dumb as well it doesn't he's a uh, that's a whole nother that's a whole nother video suck it but yeah try it try no meat thank you for watching subscribe uh i like how my 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 sideburn looks like this it looks pretty cool doesn't it, it looks like 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 a jewish a little jewish sideburn all right anyways thank you for watching i appreciate it suck it